So if you are in the stage where you are supposed to take a decision of your career, this video is for you. I'm Sonia, founder mentor from Chain to Bollywood and today we are going to talk about career options which you have after 10 and what are the parameters, what are the things you need to take care while you're choosing a career for yourself for future. With the end of school life begins a life where you need to take some important decisions in life. And sometimes it can be very, very confusing if you do not know what is your ambition, what is your goal and what you really want to do in life. Sometimes it's quite early at the stage of 10th to decide what are you good at, what do you aim to be, what is your goal. So many students are not aware what are the choices, what are the options they have after 10th. And there's nothing wrong about it. Most of the students go through this and it's quite natural. So let's talk about what are the career choices, what are the career options you have after 10th. Commonly there are three mainstreams which students take after 10th and we all are aware of it. It is science, arts and commerce. During our parents time, mostly if you are good in studies, you either used to take bio or you used to take physics, maths, either you used to go for medical or engineering. There were not many choices. But in today's time, children have multiple options, multiple choices to make because there are so many lucrative careers available beyond science, commerce and more. But the more the choices, it's even more difficult to make a decision. And the chances are more you can make a mistake. So it is important to understand that if you're not very sure about what are you going to choose after 10th, find out, do some research about the career options you have in your cities or the nearby cities in different schools and different universities. Science we all are aware. So if you're really good in maths, physics, you can go for engineering. If you're really good in biology and you want to be a doctor, you can go for medical. These are quite prestigious careers. And if you're very, very clear about them, go ahead. If you think you don't want to go for uh, engineering and medical and you're good in maths, you can also take commerce. There are some very lucrative careers in commerce like chartered accountant, uh, financial advisor, financial analysis, investment banker, company secretary and so on. Yes, after graduation, you can also give civil services and other exams as well that is available after all graduation streams. But to start initially, these are major streams you can choose and you should plan now if you start early you can smoothly go through your career pathway if you choose arts you can go for options like journalism literature teaching psychology and uh, different other careers like geologist historic political science and economist so it depends on what are you really interested in Arts is a little uncommon subject where people, very few people are interested to become and take such kind of career options. But if you wish to, definitely you can take these careers. Friends, apart from these careers, you have multiple other careers available. Now, those careers are um, designing careers, okay. Now, if you are good in drawing, painting or you are creative and innovative, there are some career options which are available in engineering which also use your creativity like engineering design. So if you are very logical, have an analytical skill as well as you are good in creativity, design and multiple such things, you can also go for engineering design where you can take a combination of mechanical engineering, electrical engineering and design. So these are options you have available if you are good in analytics as well as creative. But if you are purely creative, you can go for some fine arts career. You have careers in advertising, you have careers in mass communication, media studies, fashion designing, hotel management, interior designing, fashion. Believe me, they are really good careers and you can make definitely a lot of name, fame and money out of these careers. Apart 
from this you have performing arts okay now many parents are really unsure about performing arts performing art means acting modeling dance singing in today's world you have several opportunities also in performing arts but yes you should be good in it now how do you evaluate which is the right career option for you and what are the subjects you need to select friends first thing understand what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses don't take a decision on the basis of your board result okay i'm good in science and math so i need to take engineering and medical no also analyze your past analyze how much effort really you made to clear your exam or to score that much marks in maths and physics really are they easy to you or really are you interested in those subjects or you just took coaching classes learned and worked hard to achieve the scores you have achieved don't go with marks analyze yourself is the subject easy for you are you interested in the subject if you are really interested in the subject and you'd like to really pursue that as a career then you choose those subjects many people think that it is safe to take science maths till 11th and 12th because they can still choose between commerce and arts after 12th well that is really true in case you are not able to decide and you can go into commerce even after 12th but yes in today's competitive world the early you decide your journey is going to be very very smooth because so many exams are there at the verge of 12th also which allow you to go for multiple careers which are relevant to commerce so friends take a call now well if your family friends you are still not able to decide which is the right career option for you and you are not able to really understand what are you really good at it and how can you uh, really make a career out of your interest and talent and skill you can consult a counseling expert who can give you some insight with different aptitude test as to what are you really good in there are multiple aptitude test available but i can still uh, give you a warning signal here that just don't go blindly with the aptitude test you need to uh go a little more in depth because you are an individual person you are different and everybody's journey is not the same when we when we give a aptitude test it is very very general and it probably meant for thousand and lakhs of people and probably the same score and same result will come for multiple people so the result and the options given to you are also like that now when a expert or a counselor guides you that these are the multiple options you have which probably you can take and you really will be successful little bit sit on it career options are shortlisted sit with your parents or sit with your friends or whom you respect for your career option sit with those people and try to understand what would be right for you what probably will give you a good future career if you are going to go abroad then again you need to plan accordingly which would be the right uh, career which will probably have good opportunities if you go outside india so plan look at your future after next 10 years where do you see yourself where would you want yourself and as per take a decision look at your past look at your weaknesses look at your strength look at what what is it that's going to be easy joyful for you because you need to be happy and that's the most important thing in life right don't take any decision on the basis of what your brother sister have taken what your friends have taken just because your parents want or just because anybody else wants make a choice what do you want and whatever you want do a research in that don't rely on all information available on internet because sometimes some information can be misguiding so you have to understand and be smart enough to judge what is the right information and you need to take out what works for you and what doesn't work for you work smartly think wisely 
decision making is the most important thing and that is something you'll have to make at all milestone of your life you'll have to make certain decisions and you really need to be good in decision making in any career there are many options in field of science arts fine arts design engineering but to be successful you need to do it from the right institute so many institutes are giving their advertisement but it is not necessary that all the students who pass from those institutes are successful so again you have to do some research so in case you are let's say going for design find out the colleges and university which offer those design options like if you're going for product design you're going for animation design nid is the option if you're going for fashion designing nift is the option then if you are going for architecture interior designing there are many other institutes but there are a lot of private institutes which might not be very good which might give you good offers options but probably might not give you a great career so be very selective in your institute find out information about institute which you are going to choose so, so guys if you have taken care of everything you've analyzed all the points then you don't have to worry and yes if you've made a wrong choice somewhere you always will have time in your life where you can make another choice but yes we want to make life easy and that's the reason we insist and emphasize on the right choice which is made after 10th so take decision take the ownership of your decision and be successful good luck to all of you hope you like this video and if you like this video share it with your friends Thank you.